Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Chris D for PC Addicts. This one, um, I actually use not a lot, but uh, it comes in really handy when I need to use it. I'm talking about when you're you have like a JPEG and you want to convert it quickly to a TIFF or to uh, you know just a different format. Uh, Windows doesn't. I mean, I I can't find a good free utility without trying to dig through a bunch of crap free utility that you you think you can find, but once you get it downloaded and you try it out, it's like a trial period and a bunch of junk. So I know there's always been a way through Linux. There's a utility called Image Magic. What we're gonna do here is bring that sucker up. All right, and what we have here is I created a sample folder with just get Alba and we're gonna mess around with some of these pictures here now for instance like a couple things that I, I like to do quickly and I can do it with Windows is resize images and I just use the way I do it is if I have an image I would just open it up with uh, da -da 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 -da, where is it at Microsoft Office and Office Tools I, I don't go this route I typically just right click on the image and open it with this uh, picture manager there's a real quick easy way to do it or you can use Photoshop that'll work too but of course that takes a little longer but with Linux there's a real easy way to do it um, for instance let's take this large image here okay, as you can see it's a I think it's a, a 10 <clears throat> 1024 by 768 size image we want to reduce it let's reduce it down to 50% so what we have to do is bring up your terminal now I'm already in the directory here as you can see whoa that was cool okay so I'm already in the directory now once you of course install it and you install it, image magic by sudo app git install image magic I think it was image magic I just use synaptic package manager to be honest um, this time let's see what we got here that's how you spell it yep image magic okay just installed it didn't have to do anything else once it's installed all you got to do is once you're in the directory or you don't have to be in the directory you can put absolute paths of course but uh, it's easier this way just type convert the name of the image which this one is Jessica Alba four and we're going to do a switch and we're gonna call that resize Oops, you know what let's get this a little bit wider so we can see the whole thing so it's gonna be convert the the image name switch resize and then whatever the percentages you want to, you could do it by percentage or you could do pixel but um, I don't do it with the pixel ratio I just never really played with it and figured it out but let's just say I want to cut it down 50% okay and then what I'm gonna do is name it let's just name it uh, the same thing but we'll add at the end half so we know it's half hit enter and I screwed it up Re oh if I can spell right you guys probably saw that in the video you're like you dumbass you spelled it wrong resize <clears throat> excuse me so there it is and you can see the files being created right here and you can see down here it's only 28k when the original 78k we open it up and it's smaller and here's the original one so that was pretty easy now what I really like using this program for is oops, let's go ahead and delete that sucker is um, change it to different formats so let's just say we want to change the from a JPEG to a TIFF or PNG let's just try TIFF so if we go um, convert Jessica Alba JPEG and then we just tab completion that right? let's just let's just do a PNG okay there it goes it's creating it We're converting it there you go now what's really cool what I just found out is you can also do it to a PDF so let's delete this one just so it's clean all right let's do the same thing but instead of PNG let's just do PDF and there it goes open it up there it is now Another thing I just learned, which is actually pretty cool, is let's go back to our main folder here. We have a bunch of JPEGs in here, right? 
what we're gonna do is clear this we're gonna go back one clear okay so now we're in the Jessica Alba folder you can see that's where all of our images are what we're gonna do let's do this we're gonna what I want to do is take all these images here and combine them into one PDF document it's real easy you ready oops we're gonna do convert asterisk for to select all JPEGs in this folder that we're in and just name the folder or name the file all in, I'm just gonna name it all in one dot PDF all right there it goes and where's our PDF here it is it's being created so if we open this so this is cool like if you have a bunch of pictures that's too large for like an email or something you want to just combine them into one one file or something you know you can do that there's also a way to extract the images but uh, I'm not gonna mess around with that one at the moment and of course there's a ton of other stuff you can do with this I'm just covering like what I use um, and then you know there's a rotate you can rotate an image let's rotate uh, let's just find an image here if we go uh, convert rotate 90 degrees and let's just pick one let's pick images.jpg and we'll just make it uh, rotated JPEG. And there it is. She's rotated. She's laying down. She's like, come to bed. Okay, so I think that's pretty cool, man. I mean, it, it, my wife had some some things she needed converted over from a JPEG to a PDF a while back, and I was looking and looking in Windows, and I just got fed up and said, I know, I know Linux has it. Let me just do it. I know that you, I think you can get Image Magic for Windows. In fact, I even think I have it, to be honest. Uh, Image Magic. But anyways, I don't recall it working as smooth and nicely as this, if it worked at all. But um, I think this is a, a very, very cool and useful feature, and hopefully it helped you guys out.